tired. Just even filming. It's not as it. Fuck. <laughs> Right guys, what is up? Right, it's a new day, and you know all this shit food we brought on the last video? We didn't eat all that food. <laughs> and like, I promise, like, I got evidence and shit. Look. See, most of it's still in there. The only thing I ate, the only thing I ate was the minstrels, and then I didn't even eat all of them. So, that'll probably last me a few weeks. <laughs> so you're thinking, how the fuck can we eat all that food? We can't. We, we can't eat all that food. <laughs> That's the truth of it. But today, it's gonna be a healthier day. It's gonna be really cool actually. We're gonna go in the street. We're gonna see more levitation photography like you saw in the last video, but like out in public. So it should be like a really cool effect. And also I'm gonna teach you guys how to train legs without doing squats and without doing leg press. And of course, this is a very important movement and you need to learn it because it is so good. But I understand when people get scared or they haven't got the form quite right yet or they would build up their confidence before they hit the squat rack but they still want to get a good leg workout. This is a video for you, bro. So, yeah, you're going to have quads on fire. You're going to have glutes burning. You're not going to be able to sit down for the next couple of days. But you're going to love it and you're going to enjoy it. And I can't wait to show you guys. But right now, I'm waiting for Chris to arrive and then we're going to go to the gym. What's up guys? Right, I'm suck at tutorials, like I'm rubbish at them, but bear with me. Now to start this workout off, I did goblet squats. And you can choose what weight you want, basically because you're holding it up by like your chest area, as you can see. You don't want it to be too heavy, because obviously you won't be able to hold it with your arms, but obviously go to what you feel comfortable with. And I do 15, 20, well, 15 to 20 reps per set, four sets. So you're going to do like 80 reps, and it will burn like a bitch, but it'll be worth it get the blood straight into the muscle groups straight away and after that I want to work the hamstrings so obviously you don't just want to work one half because goblet squats work the quads really fucking well so you want to work the back half of your legs so obviously you just look deformed if you didn't so I did leg curls and I do this weird technique where I do normal ones and then as you can see like halfway through I like catch it before I fully extend and that Oh my god, the contractions you have to bring that back hurts 10 times as much. So, if you're finding normal hamstring curls too easy, try that. And it will boost up the intensity massively and you will feel it a lot more the next day. Trust me guys, it is hell. And then obviously going back onto the calves again. I don't know why I'm clapping, it's probably pissing you off in the microphone. So I'm sorry, I'm going to stop clapping. <laughs> I did leg extensions. Now, the weird thing with leg extensions, it does put a lot of pressure on the knee joints. So if you've got a bad knee, I do not recommend doing this. And what I do, I won't fully extend. So I won't lock out my legs because it, it does put so much pressure on the kneecap. So I'll just have a little bend in my knee and that way I still get good contractions, but I don't have the pressure fully on my knee joints. Now, I forgot, I guess this one's called, I think it's pistol squatting or one-legged squats. I'm not entirely sure the name of this exercise, but it really, really focuses on muscle groups that I haven't used before. Like it's really, I normally do pistol squats on the TRX, but this time I thought, fuck it, we'll try it there, something new. It does dig into your ankle at the back a bit. You gotta get that right, maybe put like a little pad there or something, because obviously it does hurt. But the great way to finish off legs, and it was so hard, I, you meant to do this with dumbbells, but I couldn't lift it with dumbbells. Like. I, I sat my energy after doing all those exercises. It killed me. As you can see, I'm exhausted, but I hope this exercise helps you guys out. And thanks for watching. Should I get chunky or should I get diced? Fuck out, one. Fuck 
use it, we use the men's energy. What's in it? 50 that's grams, that's what I was macros, about to say. It? Well, it says per serving. <laughs> this is a kilo. So there is, that's quite a lot of fat there, isn't it? They look good. Shall I get it? What's up guys, I'm back from the gym and my legs, oh my god, like, it probably won't seem a lot, but the amount of reps you do is such a big change to what we're used to. We used to do like 5x5 five five training, like heavy weights, low reps, trying to build up strength, but when you convert to what I just showed you, man, my legs are going <laughs> gonna to struggle the poo tomorrow, it's going to hurt so bad. Give it a go. You know, I mean, obviously you're not going to build massive size by doing that, but it is still a good leg workout, especially when it's really busy and all the machines are taken and there's some knobhead doing bicep curls and squat rack. You've always got other options, right? Just change it around, switch your body up, make your body guess, use muscles you haven't used before and yeah, it will work, trust me. But then I just went off to Lidl's afterwards, picked up some Greek yogurt, um, I've got some oats at home, so I need to pick that up. I've got, already got protein at home, so I already got, didn't have to pick that up. And I got a banana and I got chicken. So, the first thing in the morning is what I'm going to show you is I'm going to have a, like a milkshake blend. So, I'm going to blend up some, I'll put some milk in, some oats, some a banana, some ice to make it cold, and some protein shake. Like five ingredients, blend that all up, and that'll be like my morning breakfast, like first brunch, not brunch, but like first meal of the day just to get the good nutritious healthy protein rich food in to start the day so that's what i want to start doing and yeah just make sure my i'm doing everything i can for the last month because i start my cut in literally 30 days the 5th of march i'm doing the alphalete cut challenge and i'm looking forward to it because I've never done it this seriously before and I love it and I'm just it's sort of anxious to see what my body would actually look like when it's properly like to like 10% body fat. That's my ultimate goal. 10% is like goals, goals, goals. If I can get like single digit body fat then that's just like boom, like mind blowing shit. But right now I need a shower because I stink. I'm going to go out to do more photography. I've still got finished for editing from yesterday's video but you've already seen it because it would be up before this one. But yeah. And yeah. Alright, I'm going to have a shower guys, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to eat next. <laughs> See you in a bit. What's up guys? Right, I'm back, I've changed, I've showered. I still haven't eaten, because my whole family, like my sisters and their kids and all that shit, have come over, and it's like the kitchen is just a nightmare, so I can't actually cook anything yet. So I'm still fasting, even after my workout. Like, I'm hungry, I've had like a few nibbles, like, when I say nibbles, I mean like tiny little, like, cheddar things. Like they, they taste the same as mini cheddars, but they're like tiny little squares and shapes. Pretty crap food, to be honest. I haven't really eaten anything solid or proper. So, yeah, I'm still starving. So, I need to go do this photo shoot with Chris and then hopefully have like a big meal tonight. Probably have another big meal. So far, I still haven't eaten. I, I keep getting into this situation where... I don't eat a lot until the very end of the day that I eat everything. I don't know if that's bad. Please let me guys, please let me know guys if that is bad. I need it. Because on the weekends, my whole time is like different compared to a working week. And what I want to do is show you my working week. So my, I'm going to do three days of the week. So it'll be Tuesday to Thursday. So it'll be check, <coughs> so push pull legs. My working week, what I do when I wake up, what I have lunch, what I have tea, how I train. And then you guys get an idea of what, how I actually train and how I eat and stuff through the work week. My weekends is like late nights, early starts, late nights, late starts. It's just completely, it's out the window, guys. It's out the window. But that's what I want to show you guys and train you. But right now, Chris is coming over. And we're going to do some awesome levitation photography in the street. Where's my keys, bitch? I don't know, I ain't got your keys. You leave them in the door. Oh, are they yours? Yeah, you fucking Oh, dead. I thought they were just a set of keys. No. Oh, I didn't have a look, did I? You said gold key. Can I hurry up? Let's see if we can do this. I do know what I'm doing. 
Yeah, I can't believe you didn't know how to put the seats down. Well, I didn't. It's basically the same in almost every car. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Nah, it's either a little lever or a little like bit of like it is in yours. Oh no! Right, they get, give you, give, take your camera, take your camera, take your camera. <laughs> the door, yes. <laughs> Bloody idiot. People are gonna be like, You're gonna have to open that door. Oh god. Close it then. There's a lot of wind noise in this, I'm sorry. I need to get one of those pube things to stick on top of this camera. Just go get a woman born in the 70s or something. What? Shave her. Did you just fucking... Him? He's disgusting, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Right guys, we're back home now. I've just had some food, the first meal, well proper meal of the day. Chicken and He's rice. got a fanny! I don't have a fanny, this is Chris, as you see. But yeah, uh, <laughs> first proper meal of the day, chicken and rice, with a little bit of seasoning, sauce, stuff like that. And yeah, we're just gonna chill now. Not bad to play in a game. We're gonna do some editing, and all the po photographs that we've done today, are going to be on my Instagram and most likely Chris's Instagram and yeah so I'll put the link in the description box below and other than that please like, subscribe, share, do whatever you want to do I'll see you next clip have a good one